In this tutorial we will discuss Differential Pulse Polarography DPP. Let's start with introduction. It is an electrochemical technique where the cell current is measured as a function of time and as a function of the potential between the indicator and reference electrodes. And pulse polarography was developed in an effort to improve Faradaic to charging current ratio. Differential pulse polarography is a controlled potential method of analysis of an electrochemical cell, which involves applying pulse of potential of constant amplitude while increasing the potential with time, therefore the potential of each subsequent pulse is a little higher than the previous pulse. Differential pulse polarography DPP is the most widely used polarographic technique that differs from normal pulse polarography NPP in a way that after the potential pulse, the potential does not return to constant base value. The return potential after each pulse is slightly negative of the potential prior to the step and this base potential is increment at same value in between the pulses. The final current signal measured is the difference between current just before the pulse is applied and current just before the pulse end. The change in current delta I equals IS2 minus IS1. Here, IS2 is the current at the end of the pulse and IS1 is the current at just before the pulse is applied. Thus, DPP produces a peak rather than a wave with the height current signal at roughly E half of DCP. There are two ways of pulse inputs in DPP. They are Pulse on staircase scan A potential pulse delta EP is applied for the pulse time 50 to 60 milliseconds and then stepped back to a potential which is delta ES lower in amplitude than delta EP. For the better understanding we can observe the figure over here. Here, we can clearly see, applied potential and stepped back to a potential. The current is measured twice one just before the pulse is applied and one just before the pulse ends so that capacitive current I cap is very low. Many of the experimental parameters for differential pulse polarography are the same as with normal pulse polarography. Pulse on linear scan. In this case, a constant but small amplitude potential pulse normally 5 to 100 MV is superimposed on a DC potential ramp. Linear scanning allows the user to create a fixed angle image the same size as the probe width in one dimension. This is called an electronic scan because the pushing sequence can create an image without physically moving the transducer. The difference in current, delta I equals IS2 minus IS1 is plotted versus the average potential or the base potential to obtain the differential pulse polarogram which is peak shaped. The top of the peak corresponds to E half, and the height gives concentration. Differential pulse polarography has even better ability to discriminate against capacitive current because it measures a difference current. The limits of detection with differential pulse polarography are 10 to the power minus 8 to 10 to the power minus 9 molar. The advantages of DPP over NPP and normal polarography NPR. DPP provides a greatly improved signal to noise ratio compared with the NPP and NP. The detection limit of DPP is better than NPP and NP because it describes more effectively the charging current and eliminates better by taking smaller potential steps of constant size. The detection limit is up to 10 to the power minus 8 molar which is better than that in NPP and NP. DPP can be employed to study both reversible and irreversible system. The presence of the species can clearly be observed in DPP than that in NPP and NP. It is very effective towards the motion analysis as it required separation of at least 50 MV which is less than that in other normal polarography. It is better for the determination of charges than NPP and NP. This process is very useful for the quick analysis of low concentration of substances than NPP and NP.